Hi folks, this is Vicki from PatternPrincess.com. Today I want to show you how to do a solid um, granny square. And if you notice, this one here has no seams on the side. Um, I was able to achieve this. I had one of my um, followers tell me, well, how come you don't use the corner to uh, join your yarn and 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 for each round and I thought well, I don't even know what she's saying I don't understand what she's saying so then I looked at different patterns and I worked at it and I figured it out and actually I know that this is corner this is the corner that I use to um, start each round and I'll show you how to do that in a minute here but as you can see um, there are no joins no seams on the sides where you really want it to look nice for your solid granny square. And as you can see, this one here I made, when I think there's eight rounds. Yep, eight rounds. And this is a quite nice uh, square. I'm, I'm working on making a blanket of these um, that's gonna be reminiscent of maybe a quilted blanket with half square triangles and everything else. So we'll, we're gonna see how this is gonna turn out. Um, but these are the colors so far that I've made this in. And here's the last one. And there's two more colorways that I've used for the blanket, but those I'm going to have to try and figure out how to change color and just have the color on one side. This is a square, I'm um, a smaller square that I've started. I've only put in my one, two, three, four, five rounds. And so you can see how this looks. It's a smaller square. Let me get my yarn out of the way here so you can really see. There we go. See the square itself that looks like a very nice square to be able to be joined. Um, so I'm going to get on with the pattern here. Um, the yarn that I've used today is 24-7 cotton uh, yarn from Lion Brand. And this color here is goldenrod. The other colors were like tangerine, chocolate. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember what the other one was. Um, but when I get the pattern written, um, when I do the blanket, I'll have all of the colors listed. But for right now, I'm using goldenrod. And I'm using going to be using a size H hook. So let's get started here. So I like to leave a little bit of a tail because then it's really nice to weave in. And I'm going to I put my fingers through the yarn, bring it through, and then I'll just pull one of the loops through. And that is how I start my crochet. And there we go. And I got to make sure I separate which one's the tail. So now I'm going to start this off with a chain three. So here we go, one, two, three. Then in that first chain that you created, we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna do two more double crochet. Okay, so here's one, oops, and then two. And then just as you would a normal um, granny square in the corners, so I'm gonna do my first corner, I'm gonna do a chain two. And then right back into that same hole, we're gonna do three double crochet. So that so this is gonna create the second side as you can, you'll see it start to take shape here in just a minute. And then here's my third. It's hard always to go slow. Here we go, three and then chain two for your next corner. And then we're going to do three more double crochet in that my yarn twisted here we go three more right in that same spot so here's one two and then three and then two double cur or two chains one two and so now we only have see we have three of our sides so we have to have a fourth side so now we're going to do three more Double crochet right in that same spot. One, two, three. And this here is just, um, this is just my beginning loop. So that's okay, we're all right. And then we're gonna chain two, one, two. And then in that third loop, uh, I should say the top chain of the first chain three, we put our hook through and we do a slip stitch. So now I'm going to make this bigger here. 
And so you can see we have our beginning of our granny square. This is the centerpiece, the centerpiece of our granny square right here. Okay. All right, so here's where the magic comes in. And round two is really what's going to be um, done the entire pattern. The only difference is, is that you're going to have more stitches each time. You're going to have four more stitches each round, um, or I should say each side with each round. I got to say that right. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Yarn over and then right back into the same chain two space. We're going to work a double crochet. So we're going to go right back in here and work your normal double crochet. All right, and then we have three double crochet. So now you got to make sure you do one, two, three double crochet in the top of those other stitches. So each round, and remember each side, each round you're going to gain four stitches. So here's our three. Oops, I have a little bit tight there. It'll come through. Here we go. All right, so we've done our chain three double crochet that's inside the chain two space and then our three double crochet one on top of each one then in this next corner this next chain two space we're going to work two double crochet just like you would a regular granny square and then another double crochet here whoopsies and then a chain two and then two double crochet so you can see in each corner, you're having your two double crochet, which is adding on those four stitches to each side. Okay. So now we have one side done. So now we continue on with our double crochet above each stitch. So here's one, two, and I was just a little bit tight there, three, and then in the corner, I gotta get more yarn, we're gonna work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So here we go. So two double crochet. There's one. There's two, chain two, and another double crochet. And then another double crochet. And then we've got a double crochet on top of each stitch. There we go. There's one. Oopsies. We're going to catch them. We're going to catch them right back in there. Maybe not. Oh, here we go. Two. And then that third one. And then two double crochet in that corner and then chain two, two double crochet and then we're down to our final side and we're just going to continue what we've been doing with our double crochet on top of each double crochet so here's one, two, and then we gotta get sneak one in here. Sneak, come on. You can do it. There we go. And then two double crochet in that corner. And that first chain three did count as a double crochet. So, and we know we did, went backwards and did a double crochet. So there's our two, that, this count, both of these counts is our two double crochet in that corner. So now all we do is we do a chain two and then we slip stitch into the top. See that? Into that top two loops of the first, or the top chain three of the first, um, and the first three chain threes. I think I said that right now. So here we go. Here's round two and we're going to continue that and just continue to grow this as big as we want it. 
and you don't have any side seams. All of the work is done in the corner. And I do think, <clears throat> as I look at the bigger one, I'm not gonna look a minute. So this is my corner that I did it in. I do think that this is a little bit, I mean, if I was really gonna critically look at it, I think that this is a little bit bigger, it seems like a little bit bigger hole, but I think unless you're really critically looking at it, I don't know how well you can really tell that this, that this, these here are worked any different than these. Your stitch count will be correct if you do it this way. So now at the end of row two, let's count. We should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's correct. The next round, you're going to add four more. So the next round, you're going to have 11. And the next round will be 15. And so each time you're going to continue to go on, on each side, um, each row, each side that you count will continue to go up by four. The whole thing would go up by 16 stitches around. Um, so again, all we're going to do is repeat row two, but we'll just have more that we're going to crochet in the end here. So we do a chain three. Yarn over and go right back into the chain two space and do our double crochet. And then here's our first stitch and we're gonna just start doing our double crochets until we get to the other end. And then we do our two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. My yarn was catching. And that's all that there is to this pattern. Um, but gosh, I just love the results with the no seam. I, I just, I, I was trying to figure out um, how this might be accomplished. And it's, well, <laughs> it's been a labor of love. <laughs> it's been a few months actually of trying and figuring and thinking and, you know, trying to figure out how, what did she mean? How do you do this? How might this work? And I actually haven't figured, it, figured out if it would work on a um, traditional granny square either. Um, I, I do have it working for the solid one here, as you can see. And then our two double crochet. Chain two, one, two, and two double crochet. And then again, we just continue the pattern and we would continue working our double crochets all along the side. Two double crochet, chain two in each corner and a double crochet on top of each one. And then you end this one with two double crochet, chain two and a slip stitch right into this stitch right here. And this is, it is starting to take shape. Hopefully you can see it's taking shape. And this is, again, how this will look as it continues to grow and get bigger. So I hope that you give this solid granny square um, a try and um, try this method of um, doing your starting your, I should say, starting your row in the corner. Um, this really works nicely. So thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.